The way you park and pay in the city of Scranton is changing how people shop in the electric city. For years, the city had parking meters that allowed visitors to downtown to use coins with a minimum, a no minimum amount of time. But now the new way is to pay by license plate and it could be forcing shoppers to think twice. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live in downtown Scranton to explain. Cody. Candace and Nick, good evening. These kiosks were installed in September. You can use your debit or credit card along with quarters, but the minimum amount of time and money is causing a shift in business. Parking spots in downtown Scranton are a dime a dozen. The cost per spot, two bucks an hour. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it deters people. It really does. Oh, I think a lot less people come downtown overall because of it. Cara Skimahorn is the co owner of Pink Pedal. She says since the kiosk were installed six months ago by ABM, the parking authority for Scranton, it's been a process for customers. Walk to the machine, put in their plate number, do the credit or with your, your uh, coins, and they're confused, so they're less likely to stop. The women's clothing store on Wyoming Avenue has seen a shift with more phone orders, which results in customer drive up delivery, avoiding parking altogether. Our business is fantastic. It's always been great. Um, we love our location, but we don't really know what business we're losing because of that. I know from talking to a lot of people that they're not thrilled about it. Eugene Philbin owns Peculiar Slurp on Penn Avenue and shares the same frustration. He says majority of those who visit downtown typically leave before the minimum hour is up, forfeiting that money to the parking authority. In the past, with coin operating meters, the clock would wind down for the next person. That, that was always something nice if you put in a little bit extra. You know, you kind of thought maybe you're paying it forward a little bit. And if not, that's okay too. Now I have reached out to ABM for comment on the minimum hour and if they plan to accommodate shoppers in the downtown. To weigh in on this topic, head to PAHomepage.com where we have a post asking what you think about the parking in downtown Scranton. In Scranton, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News. All right, Cody, thank you.